Hi everyone, welcome to the vlog. So this week I'm going to share with you what I eat every single night for dinner for seven days. I'm sort of in this phase in my life right now where like I don't feel like cooking, I don't really have the energy to cook, and so I've been like really in search of easy, easy things to cook. Because the thing that I like about cooking is just like feeding myself really good food. I don't really love the act of cooking. So I thought I would share with you what I make in a week. Right now it's Saturday. It's 5.38 p.m. to be precise. I usually start cooking dinner around six depending on what night it is. And as my week goes on, you'll see some nights I am not home from teaching yoga till like 8.30 or 8.45. And so like trying to make a meal in that amount of time before I fall asleep. And some nights I have a little bit more time, but right now I feel like I don't wanna put more than like 20 active minutes into cooking. So meaning like if it takes longer to cook, like if I'm making soup and it needs to like, you know, simmer for a half an hour, that's fine. But I don't wanna be like standing in the kitchen cooking food for more than like 20 minutes. So these are my 20 minute meals for a week. And tonight we're starting with a tofu scramble. So this changes every time. I'm probably just gonna see what I have in the refrigerator, pick some veggies to stir fry up, crumble up some tofu. And I think I'm gonna like boil up a little sweet potato and then throw that in as well. I'm gonna start by pressing the tofu and getting the sweet potato ready and then figuring out what veggies we're gonna throw in there. So we got the sweet potato cooking in here. So I'll cook that till it's like almost done. I decided to go with a little bit of onion, avocado, some kale, and then I'm pressing the tofu in here. So I just wrap the whole block of tofu in this towel and then place this fruit bowl on top. Or you can put anything heavy on top, like a book or whatever. And I'll usually let that press for like at least 10 or 15 minutes. And then from here, it's gonna be super simple. Right, just throw a little avocado oil in a skillet, saute up the onions, throw everything else in. I'm gonna put a few spices, so turmeric, a little garlic powder, and some paprika. And that'll be it. And it's been 10 minutes so far. So when the vegetables are like mostly cooked down, then I'll add the tofu and then the spices and then we're done. Oh no, orange down. So I'll usually just crumble this with my hands. Uh, hold on, I need two hands. So I'll just crumble this with my hands, break it up into little pieces. And then I don't really measure the spices. I just do like uh, lots of turmeric and like a medium amount of paprika, small medium amount of garlic powder and a pinch of salt. And then I just threw a little avocado on top and it's ready. It's really good with like some sriracha or cholula on it too. You ready? Yes. You excited? Yes. Let's eat. Okay. Welcome back. Day two, it's Sunday. I'm, I'm a little bit of a mess, I'm sorry. I just got back from a hike, I haven't showered. This is how I look. And we're making rice and beans. I'm getting everything ready. What I really like about rice and beans is kind of a staple. It's really filling, it's really easy, but also when Murphy's working, I never really know when he's gonna get home from work. He could get home at like 5.30, he could get home at like 7.30, who even knows? But this holds really nicely. So like if I make it now, I can just keep it in the pot and warm it back up when he gets home. So the thing that takes the longest with this is cooking the rice. So it's 5.55 right now. I'm gonna start the rice get everything ready and then throw it all together in one pot. So let me just show you what I'm gonna do. So I'll just do a little bit of rice. We had some leftover frozen corn that I found in the freezer, so I'll throw that in. And then I'm just gonna use canned beans and I'll use the juice that's in there because it gives it some good flavor. Some scallions, some cilantro that I prepped earlier in the weekend, so I just pulled it all off so I can just grab handfuls of that. An avocado, some cashew cream that's already made. So this is just cashews and water blended together. So I'll throw that on top. It's sort of like a stand-in for sour cream. 
type thing. And then I'm also gonna do it on a bed of lettuce. So I'll pull off a few leaves of these, chop them up and put them in the bottom of the bowl so it's like a burrito salad. So super quick and easy, but we have to start with the rice because that takes a while. Alright, so that's literally it for prep. That took me nine minutes and I even paused to feed Gypsy your dinner. Uh, just chopped up the onions, chopped up a little lettuce for each of the bowls, and it's literally just waiting for the rice now. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alright, rice is cooked, so I'm just gonna add the beans with their juice from the can. Uh oh, I hope this pan is big enough. And then the corn. Oh no, this pan's too small. <laughs> oh my gosh, can we make this work? I always make this in this little pan. I must have made more. Yikes. All right, we gotta put this in a bigger pan. All right, there we go. I'm just gonna put this on low. There's no sign of Murphy quite yet. Oh, wait a second. I literally think he's pulling in the driveway. Burrito bowl salads. Are you ready for eating? You said I didn't have to wear a shirt. <laughs> you don't have to wear a shirt. You think after all these what? these years of doing YouTube, you get used to the camera in no. your face? Like <laughs> Alright, let's eat. I forgot a total key ingredient. <laughs> Gotta put hot sauce on it. Hi, hello. It's Monday. It's day three of this vlog. Um, and it's a little earlier. I don't know if you can tell, but it's still light outside. So it's 4.25 and I actually want to go to a yoga class tonight. So I have to leave here at five o'clock and I probably won't be back till, let's see, it goes to 6.45. Well, I won't be back till like seven or 7.15. So in order to not eat really late, I'm going to prep some stuff now, throw it in the fridge. And then when I get back, I'll just have to do one thing. So I'm making macaroni and cheese. So I'm gonna make the cheesy sauce now and I'm going to steam some broccoli because I love broccoli in my mac and cheese. I don't know, call me crazy. And I'll throw that stuff in the fridge and then when I get back, all I have to do is cook the pasta. So let me show you. So I'm actually following like a real recipe tonight. So I will link that down below, but it's a cup and a half of cashews that are soaking and you just throw that in the blender with some plant-based milk a uh, couple spices, got turmeric and paprika. It calls for two cloves of garlic, but this one was little, so I'm doing three cloves of garlic. And a little Dijon mustard and some nutritional yeast. And so I'll blend this up and I'll throw the whole blender in the fridge and then just give it a little refresh when I get home. And then we'll steam up this broccoli. All right, we're not even gonna make an extra dish. We're just gonna throw this in the refrigerator just like this. And I'll just leave this out so when I get home, I can give it a quick blend in case it settles a little bit. Gypsy loves broccoli stems. She's standing here waiting for one. You want this? Good girl. All right, so I'm gonna let that broccoli steam. I'm gonna go get ready for yoga. By the time I'm ready, that broccoli will hopefully be done and I will blanch it, so just like run it under some cold water and then throw it in the fridge. And that whole thing took me eight minutes, only eight minutes. So when I get home, I just gotta cook the pasta and then we'll be good to go. All right, back home, waiting for some water to boil. Oh, it's boiling. Yoga was great. It's 7.24. I haven't even taken my jacket off yet because 
I'm starving and I want the food. So I'm just gonna throw a full box of this in. This is my favorite pasta right now. Its only ingredients are organic red lentil flour. It's delicious, it's really filling. I'm gonna throw that in here. I'll let that cook up a little bit. I took the broccoli out of the fridge and the sauce out of the fridge. I just gave this like a little whirl around so it should be all nice and mixed. That looks delicious. It smells very garlicky. Yum. The recipe actually calls for a jalapeno, but I don't have one, so no jalapeno this time. It'll still be good. All right, so we're gonna take our fully cooked pasta, put it back in the pot. I just drained it. And we'll throw our broccoli in and our cheesy sauce. I'm just gonna put this on low, just because I think the broccoli's probably still cold from the fridge. And then you mix it up. Stand my way, sure. <laughs> well, it's colder today, yeah. It's cold. Bon appetit. Oh, <laughs> wait, do you want a fork? No. <laughs> Hi, hello. It's Tuesday. It is like 9 p.m. So Tuesdays and Thursdays are tough for me because I teach yoga and my class doesn't start until 7.15 and so I get home at like 8.45 usually. But I leave the house, I always like take the class before the class that I teach so I leave the house at like 5 p.m. So <laughs> that's a lot of information to say that on Tuesdays and Thursdays I usually eat like kind of a light, quick, late dinner. So typically I'll eat like lighter meals during the day and then like dinner is my heavier meal. But on these days I'll eat like a heavier meal earlier in the day and then do something like a smoothie at night. So it's actually a little later than even usual right now. It's, oh my gosh, it's 9.25. So I'm trying to do the easiest, fastest thing possible. So I have a few of these daily harvest smoothies left in my freezer. Not sponsored. I bought these with my own money. I really like them so far. There's a lot of ingredients that like I don't have access to or wouldn't buy on their own that I can then like get in a smoothie. Like this one is mango, passion fruit, spinach, tahini, hemp seed, moringa. I don't think I've tried this one yet, so we'll see how it goes. So I told you guys I was showing you my dinners for seven days, so here I am having a pre-made smoothie. So it comes with just like the frozen fruit in it, and I like to do half oat milk. I like this planet oat, oat milk and half water. So you just fill the cup oh, that it comes in, water, and then you throw it all in the blender. Ooh, this is good. It's like a little bit tart. Uh, I guess that's it for tonight. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hi, hello. It is Wednesday and it is cold. It snowed here in the desert, which is like a rare, magical moment. Actually, let me see if I can show you. It's kind of cool. So it was snowing out here earlier, but it kind of like melted when it touched the ground and the sun's back out now, but can you guys see the mountains off in the distance? They all have snow on them. And there's these like crazy clouds in the sky that never happens here. Oh, okay, it's cold. We gotta go back in. Chips, it's cold. We gotta go back in. Come on. So anyways, it's really chilly here and I was thinking that it's a really good day to make some soup. So this is one of those meals that like, there's 20 active minutes to it, kind of like I was saying at the beginning of the vlog, like this soup definitely takes longer, but you kind of just have to throw everything in a pot and like chop it up and then just leave it to cook. So this feels pretty like minimal effort, but you still get something delicious out of it. So let me show you what I'm making. So we're doing a mushroom, wild rice, sweet potato kind of soup. And I do have a recipe for this that I'm following, so I'll put that in the description box down below. But you'll kind of notice as the week goes on, I sort of cook with the same ingredients all week. So what I do is go to the farmer's market and to the local grocery store here and see what they have and what looks good. So like I've been cooking with sweet potatoes all week and kale. This is the leftover onion from, I think, Monday? I forget whenever I used the other half of that onion. So I'll keep using the same sort of ingredients and just come up with different things to make with them depending on what looks good. So, but tonight we have these. Look at these shiitake mushrooms. Are these not the most beautiful things you've ever seen? When I got them in the store, I was like, I had to read the sign twice because I was like, these are huge, are these really shiitake? But turns out they are. A little bit of garlic. This has some miso paste in it, which gives it a 
delicious flavor, some lemon juice, nutritional yeast, some cashews. It does end up having a little bit of a creamy base to it. And then the star is this beautiful wild rice. And then, oh, the broth of it. Sometimes I use bouillon, but I actually think I'm just going to use like a veggie stock. Let's see what we have. Yeah, we have some back here. Ooh. Grab that, so we'll just use this. This is my favorite veggie broth. It has really good flavor to it. Okay, so giant fail. I just tried to do a time lapse of me chopping all of those veggies and it didn't record, but I chopped the veggies. So super easy from here. Onions, garlic, and mushrooms all go in the pot now. Saute them up and then you add everything else in and you let it cook for like 30 minutes. And then you blend up a little bit of cashew and nutritional yeast with some of the cooked soup in the blender and that's gonna give it like a creamy base. I'll show you that later. All right, so this is pretty much ready. The potatoes are tender when I poked them with a fork. Sorry, Gypsy's eating her dinner in the background. She's crunching really loud. So what I'm gonna do is throw a couple handfuls of kale in. Stir that up a little bit. And then in here, sorry, this is such a weird angle. Um, in here, I blended up uh, the cashews and the miso and the lemon juice and the nutritional yeast. And so I'm just gonna throw that on top. You being noisy. Throw this in, which will give it a little bit of creaminess. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just turn this off. And then when Murphy gets home from work, I'll just turn it back on, give it a couple more minutes to cook, and then we'll be ready to eat. Hello, it's Thursday, which means it's 9 p.m. and I just got home from teaching and I'm starving. But Thursday is also the day where I usually eat leftovers because I've been cooking all week, so there's usually some leftovers if Murphy hasn't eaten them for lunch. And so I do kind of a weird thing. I feel like I'm sort of exposing myself. So we have the leftover rice and beans and then some leftover soup from last night. And I kind of want to mix them together just in like all in one pot. It seems really strange when I say it out loud, but that mixing, really good. right? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not crazy, right? Mixing leftovers is delicious. Yeah. Okay, good. High five. Totally. All right, Murphy agrees, I'm not alone. So we don't have a microwave, so I reheat everything in a pot. So I'm just gonna throw it in a pot and heat it up a little bit and hopefully it's delicious. All right, there we go. We got my soup and rice and beans. What do you think, Chips? I fancied it up a little bit with some green onion and some cilantro. And that's it, that's my dinner for tonight. I am gonna go eat this and then go to sleep and I will see you tomorrow. Hello, welcome to the final day of this vlog. So tonight we are making Buddha bowls. I'm not exactly sure what the definition of a Buddha bowl is, but usually it has like some sort of grain in it and then a mixture of like raw and cooked vegetables and maybe like a little dressing on it or something. So let me show you what we're putting in this one. All right, so I'm gonna roast up sweet potato and asparagus. I'm just gonna toss it in a little bit of avocado oil, some salt and some pepper, and then roast it in the oven. I've actually already started preheating the oven. It's only at 370, we're going to 425. Some kale, some chickpeas, a little bit of sauerkraut, and then for the grain, I'm gonna do quinoa. And then when the quinoa is hot, I'll toss it with the kale to just like very lightly steam the kale with the heat of the quinoa. So it's like not raw, but also not cooked. And then I just pulled this out of the fridge. This is a tahini dressing that I already had in there and I just wanted it to warm up a little bit because it was kind of in a solid state. So, so I did make this ahead of time and there is a really delicious recipe that I will link in the description box down below but it's super easy. You don't need like a food processor or a blender or anything. You just put the ingredients directly in here. So this is tahini, lemon juice, salt, water, and garlic. And then you just toss that all in a bowl together. Super easy peasy. But the part that takes time is roasting the veggies. So I'm gonna start that first. So I have the veggies prepped. Ooh. You 
just want to see a good sunset. I just looked out the window. It's so pretty. Hang on. How pretty is that? Such good sunsets out here. Anyways, back to business. Hey, Gyps. Hi, sweet girl. All right, the veggies are out of the oven. I think the quinoa is pretty much done. Yep. Do you like my pot holder? I just use my sleeve. So I'm just gonna throw the kale in here, like I said earlier, and just kind of mix it around. Ah! Hot. With the quinoa, so it's like very lightly steamed. So this will be the base of our bowl. And then I added a couple more things. I decided to put some avocado. I'm gonna put a Brazil nut in each of them and some hemp seeds. It's kind of what I love about this type of meal is like there's no wrong answer. You can kind of add anything that you want. So let me show you how I assemble this together. All right, so we start with the quinoa and the kale as the base. Then we'll add some veggies, some chickpeas, a little avocado, a little sauerkraut, then we'll do a little drizzle of the lemon tahini dressing on it. And then I'll top it with the Brazil nuts and a little hemp seed. And there you go, there's our little Buddha bowl. So this dinner in particular takes a little bit more time to start to finish, but it's mostly just waiting. You know, you're waiting for the quinoa and waiting for the vegetables and waiting for the oven to preheat. So I like it because I'm able to do other things. I don't just have to like spend an hour in the kitchen cooking. All right, that's it for this week's video. Thanks for spending every night this week with me. I hope this video gave you a little bit of inspiration if you're looking for some quick dinners or if you just want to spend less time in the kitchen like me. Follow me over on Instagram if you're not already and I will see you next week. Bye everyone.